First John chapter 2 and verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shemi Shai. I want to give double honor to the apostles of Graham, Millstone, and do rule well. Salutations to the men of the hope and since I elect. This is your brother Makaza from the Trinidad camp. Just want to do a little edification for the elect's sake. And the name of this lesson would be if you don't if you don't burn the bridges you'll always look back if you don't burn the bridges you'll always look back all right what it means to burn the bridges when you burn a bridge that you just crossed what you just did was destroyed all chance of you returning to the place you once was so the only thing you could do now is continue going forward. And this is what you do coming in the truth. When you come into this truth, you burn the bridges behind you. means that you it have no going back. It have no going back. All right? It's only forward from here on. All right? Sometimes when you, when, when, when you, when you come in this truth, you know, the, the life that you are living, you know, probably, you know, you are... Um, you you probably had a, a good job, but the job the job now was basically keeping you from doing the works of the Lord. You have Hashem and Shai was well paying, all right. You you weren't hungry, you were living good, but for the sake of the Lord, you know you 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 forsake that job, all right, to do the will of the Lord and took something you know you know that that not paying as much and you know it have times that you might be catching hell, and then when you start catching hell, that job might. You know, it might be able to keep up with your needs. All right? Pay your, your bills, pay your rent, you know, put food on the table, wherever the case might be. And, you know, when, when you start catching hell, you start, you know, thinking about the job that you once had. And then you might, you might, you might go back to it. You might think about going back to it. And then when you go back to it, guess what? That's going to conflict with you and the truth. And then eventually you fall out because... You know, you 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 care more about the cares of this life than than the the, the ministry of the Lord Yahaba Shemia Shai. But if you cut all ties with that job, means that you make sure that hey, it have no going back. Guess what? You wouldn't return. And there's the purpose of burning the bridges so that you don't return. All right, because Satan could jump on you in the time of trouble and make you start to think about the days when you you were in, when you were in in, in somewhat safety. When you won't see in trouble, so to speak. Alright? When you won't see in trouble, sometimes, you know, you might be in the world and you had a, an adulterous relationship with this, this woman. She probably was looking real fine. Alright? She used to take care of you, but it was it was it was a sinful relationship, it was an adulterous relationship. And then when you come into the truth, you realize what you was doing was committing iniquity, so you lock it off. All right, but then when you come in the truth now, you know you you catching hell to to get a woman and you burden, and then you you thinking, you know, you know what? Let me, you know, well I was with her before, so you know it might be so bad. So let me go back. So uh, you know at least I wouldn't be burning. The scripture did say if you if you're burning, marry. It's better to burn than marry. All right, and then you go back to this woman, and then what? You commit sin again after you don't cleanse yourself. But if you burn that bridge, if you cut all ties with that woman instead of coming in the truth and still keeping her number on your phone, you know, if you keep her number on your phone, that is you keeping them bridges up. Burn the bridge by locking off communication, you know, and delete the number. Make sure that you can contact her. Make sure that she can, can contact you. So it have no communication between you and that woman because you burn that bridge. So it have no return. All right, it have no return. So all you do is focusing on going forward, so that you can't go back into sin. All right, and that is the purpose of building the bridges, so that you can't go back into sin. All right, this is um Philippians chapter three and verse seven. It says, "But what things were gained to me, those I counted loss for Mashiach, ye doubtless." 
I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Yahweh, Shai Mashiach, my Lord. So all the things that were good to him in the world, he, he cut them off. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things, not some, all. And do count them but dung that I may win Mashiach. So you have to be in that same mindset, the same mindset where you, hey, ain't nothing compared to this. So, so just let go, just burn them bridges and go forward. Go forward into that new life, into that newness of life and leave the old man with, with the past. All right, leave the old man on the next side of that bridge and burn it as you cross. All right. Verse 13, it says, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. All right? It says, I press toward the mark of the price of the high coin of Yahweh in Yahweh Shemashiach. So how you forget those things behind? You burn them bridges. You burn them bridges. You know, you might you might be in the world. You might live that worldly lifestyle where you might have some family or some kind of friends that, that you know, selling drugs. So you know how to make easy money. All right? You know, you know how to make easy money. All right? So life was good. Then you come into the truth. You know, you, you catch in hell. You, you the days, you might, you might be able to eat. You might be able to live good. And then you start, when you start getting pressure, you know, your wife might be on your back and you start getting pressure. You're thinking about ways that you can make that money. All right? Okay, nothing wrong with making money, but it's how you make it. All right? So you're thinking about ways that you can make that money and then, you know, it run back on your mind. Hey, you, you, you know, you have this, this nigga number on your, on your phone or this family member on your phone that, you know, you could just hit him up so he could probably hook you up with something so you could go back, you know, selling that product again. And then you go and you buy that stuff and you start selling it. And then guess what? You might get locked up. All right? And bring the ministry to shame. All right? Because why? Because you didn't burn that bridge. You didn't delete them numbers off your phone and cut all ties so that you wouldn't have nothing to go back to. It's the purpose of burning the bridges. The purpose of burning the bridges is so that you don't go back into iniquity. Burn them bridges when you come in the truth. Cut them holy ties. Those ties that you know that can take you back into vanity, into that wicked lifestyle. You know, burn them bridges. Don't go back into it. Press forward. All right? Don't look back. All right? Don't look back. This is John chapter 6 and verse 66. It says, and from that time, from that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then said Yahweh shall unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Where we going to go? We don't burn them bridges. Where we going to go? We could only go forward. It says, Thou hast the words of eternal life, and we believe and are sure that thou art that anointed, the son of the living power. So Peter like, you know, hey, Lord, I don't burn them bridges. You know, it have no back for me. I have nowhere to go. I don't curse all my family. They say don't come back in their house. I don't curse all my boss. All right? I don't delete them hoes number. All right? Them hustlers, I deleted their number. Matter of fact, I threw that old SIM card away so I can't contact them. They can't contact me. Lord, I have nothing to go back to. All right? I have nothing to go back to. So guess what? It's only forward. And that is the mindset you have to have. Only forward. Backward, never forward ever. All right? You can't have nothing to go back to. All right? You have to be in that mindset. Is the final precept here. This is Luke chapter 17 and verse 31. It says, In that day, he which shall be upon the house stop and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Don't return back. All right. Now this was talking back in the time of G, uh, of, of um, you know in, in seventy A.D. But also talking about the times you're about to enter into. But you can apply it to now because when you're thinking about your stuff, is because you're thinking about them worldly possessions that you have. But when you think about the kingdom, to hell with them worldly possessions. All right. You count all things but loss. All right. It says, verse 32, remember Lot's wife. Because what she did, she looked back. So don't look back. Don't look back. Just keep going forward. Forget our life behind. 
It says, whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. All right? So once you seek to, 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 to preserve your life, guess what? You're going to lose all things for the Lord's sake. All right? But if you keep hold, holding on to them holy things, guess what? You're going to lose your life. All right? You're going to lose your life. You're going to hold on to, you know, to, 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 to that lifestyle that you once had. You know, you're keeping it close because, you know, you, you think it ain't no stress. But guess what? You didn't realize what you're doing is keeping ties to, to the world when you come into the truth. And Satan going to use that against you. He's going to use that against you and make you turn back to that man that you once were. So burn them bridges when you come into the truth. All right? So with that, I want to give all praises on our glory to Yahaba Hashem Yahushai. I want to give double honors to the apostles, you know, that do rule well. Salutations to the men of the whole flan saying, say, like, this is brother Makazah from the Trinidad camp saying, Shalawam and stay strong. Shalawam.